Genius. Hello, David. Hello, Gracia. Good evening. We're about to start. Let's just wait a little bit for your classmates. This is so weird. I'm sorry, my internet is like unstable, I guess, but can you hear me well? Now we can hear you. Hey, how are things going, Ana Claudia? Doing well here. Just finishing to uh, make a quote, a quotation. A quote? But, yeah. Uh, trying to send an order form to a customer, you know, because of the uh, different time zones, I was talking with someone that is in the Pacific right now. So they are one hour behind us. So I was talking to him like around 6.30 p.m. So for, uh, for him, it was around 5.30. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but... It's time to run because I haven't achieved my goal yet. <laughs> <laughs> but we are in the middle of the month, so it's okay. The pace I am right now is, is according to the day of the month. So. Mm, but I don't want to sleep on my, <laughs> my achievements. So I always look to go at least the meaning uh, the the similar to one day in one day in advance so what i was supposed to sell tomorrow i'd like to achieve it for today mm. sometimes there are days that you don't sell nothing there is no orders to place there is if, if you sell nothing anything <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you sell nothing or if you don't sell anything. Um, I don't know. I guess 
anything because we have different products. Mm. I don't know if I can use anything. We have, we have like three products, different three different products. So I don't know if it's better to use anything. No, no, no. In the previous sentence, yes. Uh, if you don't sell nothing, that's a double neglecting, right? If you sell nothing, if you didn't, if you didn't sell a thing, mm -hmm. you just didn't sell anything. Those are valid options. Okay, how many mm -hmm. are we? We are. 10 i think yeah yeah we're 10 i feel like playing that game where you have to match the cards you know when with david <laughs> so, okay yeah i got the pair i got the pair okay so i think it's time to start uh, let me do the attendance really quick don't forget to turn on your camera guys Today is Wednesday. I can't believe it was my day off. Oh, really? Yeah. At least I was able to sleep until, I think, 9? No, 8.30. 8.30. Oh, come on. Awesome. That was, that was the most I could sleep. Wow. Normally, I'd, I wake up at 4.55, and I run to, the, to my job place. Wow. <laughs> and today... <laughs> was uh why you have a, a the day off i mean mm -hmm. what is the celebration or what is the, the reason why no it was my day off they, oh they... today's your day off oh come yeah. on so you ha uh, so you have like i have ones uh in the middle of the week i have sunday and wednesday <laughs> no but you have two days off i only have uh -huh. one i only have one day off because i do i do 7.5 hours Ah, okay, okay. That's the reason why. Yeah, why? well, one day I do 6.5, which is Sunday. Yeah. Okay, so Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Yeah. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. But I saw her. Okay, Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Good. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Thank you. Iliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Ili, your camera. Iliana. Okay. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Oh, thank you, Iliana. I saw you. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Second. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Miguel Bram Mejia. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Present. Great. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Good. It's awesome. Um, this is so weird, but someone has been playing with my dates because I don't see. Anyways, okay, guys. So I believe we're finishing the module on Tuesday, July fourth. We'll see. We'll see. So, uh, really quick, uh, we're gonna start tonight warming up making random questions to anybody on your group. I'm going to split the class so you can start just making questions, having a regular conversation so you can relax. Remember, the whole point is to use the questions, any question you can handle, you think you can handle at this point, and then I will bring some of you to the front so you can practice and I can correct you. At this point, we need to correct uh, your speaking the most we can, okay? Um, hold on. Here he is. So let's go with conversation starters. I'm sending you the link to your WhatsApp so we can start practicing. 
a quick. Okay. And we are 11. So I'm going to split you in three groups, just three groups. Don't forget, nobody stays here. Please go to your classrooms. Um, a los que usualmente están trabajando, les comprendo. Eh, si usted pues está muy ocupado, por favor encienda su cámara, trate de participar en la clase. Este es su último módulo, la última oportunidad para poder um, pulir un poco el inglés. Ok, so let's do it. I'm going to move you, David, in a minute. What? What's going on? Your microphone. What? What's going on? You you didn't get the invitation. You did? Okay. Hi, Wendy. Please join your group. I hope you're not driving. I don't know what happened, but I, I can hear you. But the question is, do you like to dance or sing? That is the question. Yes, yes, I, we are we are using the, the... Steve Steve uh do you have a, a problem with your microphone? Yes, I I use every other word. No, no words. Uh, there's a lot of interference. It's like, it's like this. Do you have another headset? That's better. When I use what Wi-Fi, recording it so. Oh, and and you have you need to have the head the headphones. There is no mic in your computer. Yeah, it is the microphone. It is the microphone on the headset. Okay, William Jarvin, try to participate, please. Um, you seen PowerPoints or slides from from Google, not not actually Excel. <laughs> no Excel, oh, okay. But do you, do you use Excel in, in work? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay, but it's is the routine. If you use the the practice, is the is the key. That's right. On any learning environment, practice is always the key. Oh yeah, yeah. English, English too. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Uh, okay. And who is the other? Francisco, right? Yes, Francisco. Are you there or are you busy? I just saw him when we got the attendance. Maybe hello, guys. Oh, hello. Can you hear about it? Can you hear it? 
Okay, uh, give me a uh, uh, basketball. I participate with, with you. I'm sorry. Okay, give me give me a, a second. Let's see. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. So regarding me, I will maybe teach um music and maybe math. Music and math. Yes. Okay. Can you play yeah, some play. instrument? Yes, I play the guitar at church and I learned a very small bit of uh, piano. A very, very small bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will enroll your class. I need to learn to play guitar. <laughs> I like it, but I don't have the time. And when I have the time, I had no the opportunity. So in this case, I I can pay for that, but I don't have time. That's the so, reality of adulthood. <laughs> yeah. Have you so, seen the meme of, of, of children who for the um short person one shirt for it uh largest and so on and so on? No. No, no I haven't played. Okay. It's cool. It's all right. Yeah. Why not try it? <laughs> <laughs> I believe that I don't, I don't. As long we drink, drink so we are drink Jenga. <laughs> I believe that is the name. Okay, another question. Okay. Uh, I just I just found one. Do you believe in luck? Do you believe in luck? Luck, luck, luck. In luck. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, luck. Yeah, luck. Very good. Um, yeah, Lucky, Lucky, you know, the name that they put the dogs here in Salvador, that's not all right. It's not Lucky, it's luck, Lucky, Lucky. Lucky. Well, my case, I don't know. I believe that always you have to, to, to do you, try to do your best to achieve that things that you, that you want to achieving your life and mm -hmm. luck like pure luck I don't know but that's yeah, my opinion yeah, like thinking like positive things right and it's those things are going to happen but sometimes I think that, that I prefer to believe in in faith instead of luck, luck. Oh, that's better yeah faith mm -hmm. instead of luck yeah yeah, I, I do prefer like right so something so that you never like expect to come and come up so it's good and you have a girl? well in my case I believe that only the lottery maybe you win by luck <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I think so because uh, if you were to get uh, uh, one thing, uh, one important thing to you, it's not a lot because you work for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what I think. Okay, I have another one. Do you have any vacation plans coming up? Not yet, not really. I'm planning to uh, have some vacation, but until not coming up, if not for the end of the year. Okay, in my case, I I do have plans. I I hope that I can um, have my vacations in August, and I want to travel with my mom to Republica Dominicana, and I already have the ticket, but I don't have the permission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm planning to travel to Republica Dominicana as well as you. Sorry? I'm planning to travel to Republica Dominicana as you. Really? I'm, tr I'm planning to travel. 
I'm planning to travel uh -huh, to Republic Dominicana as well. Mm, I can recommend you a phrase if you go, if you guys go. So there is like, can okay? They usually use that word, like, what's up? What are you doing? Can okay? Can okay? Yeah, can okay. It's okay. like, the on that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> can okay. <laughs> okay. I saw some uh, different uh, methods to what? What can I say that? Maybe I don't know. Maybe to a, to live for a for a week either. Oh, uh huh. Because I saw some um some uh, hotel, and also I saw some Airbnb. Mm -hmm. But I saw nice places. Jose will try to take advantage for the new platform that Concentric has. You can uh, which? The, the last one. Actually, the teacher knows too, right? The oh, what? platform, like the app. So that you can find like good hotels if you want to travel, like tickets. Um... I, I know that. Yeah, before I... <laughs> Before I left, I don't know the app. Uh, let me see. Uh, ah, Benefits but, Hub. That's the name. Benefits Hub. Mm -hmm. Benefits Hub. And that's yeah. for what? Concentric. Really? Yep. No, I was there. I, I left on 2012. I don't know if the platform was mm -hmm. already there. Uh, Jose <laughs> can take advantage. Yep, I will download. Yeah, that's that's a good app. So I took a look. So before I left, and it's it's really nice. You can find a lot of hotels, like cheaper hotels, mm -hmm. like because you will get the benefit using the app. Oh, cool, cool. Thanks, thanks for the advice. Okay, another question. Okay. Let's see the next question. What is your biggest regret this week? My biggest regret. Well, yesterday I didn't come. I didn't come. Yeah. Um, yep. To the gym, and I just I just felt lazy yesterday. But then when I was um, in my bedroom, just existing in my bed, I was like, mm, I regret that. That maybe, maybe that. Well, Hello? for me, it's because yesterday I drank a Coca-Cola. And do you know, um, I do exercise. I'm doing no. I do exercise. Most likely every single day, but today was my day off for for the for the gym. <laughs> I took a day off. <laughs> what about you, Jose? Um, probably. Uh, for the laundry, <laughs> I forgot to go to the laundry, and I, I accumulate a lot of clothes, and <laughs> I actually I had to repeat the clothes again. <laughs> well, you know, right there is the the cloth is cheaper. Maybe you can buy a new one. <laughs> yeah, no, actually here, no. <laughs> and what is where do you live now? And what you say? Oh. Massachusetts. Ah, uh, uh, Boston. Yeah, close to. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Uh, it's actually South Germ that is in uh -huh. Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you have to visit. What is the name of that? 
story. I do have the opportunity to to go Macy's, to I guess. the hotel. Uh, Macy's, yeah. Not really. Uh -huh. so I went to Macy's to buy a, a hand. It was for twenty four dollar ninety nine cent, the cheaper one. Yep. But remember also the shoes are so that are cheaper. Yeah, I, I yeah. bought like Adidas shoes but, for twenty five dollar. Uh -huh. I bought. Bought. I bought Adidas shoes for twenty five dollar. Now mm -hmm. even better if you say I bought a, I, I bought I bought, a, I bought Adidas I bought Adidas shoes. I bought Adidas shoes for just twenty five dollar. Was. Oh, that's good. That's good. Really? If you want to buy an uh some a special edition, you can buy it through the website, and you can apply one code. I will send a code. Oh, because nice. you will, maybe you will get a uh, like 40 percent of discount. Where do cool. you guys work? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Nice. Thank you. I will text you. <laughs> yeah. Where do you guys work? Do you work for Travelocity or what? <laughs> I work for Gap on Navy, but I didn't send some codes, and now I'm missing those codes. <laughs> yeah, because when I was at, Con at Concentris, I, I was working uh, for like all Navy, Gap, Banana Republic, and I have like three stores really close, and I forgot. Oh to send me some codes to get like a better discount. So that's something <laughs> that I regret, really. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. The next question. Yeah, next question. It was like around seven years, six years ago when my finance finances uh, went down and I was completely in a hole and, and I thought that I wasn't I won't I wouldn't be able to go out from there and started from scratch from zero and that is uh, then is when I uh, made uh, changes in the way of uh, living the way of my behavior, my also my habits regarding to food and the way how I use my my money and I decided to study to learn to get advices from people. And since that point, I can tell you my life changed and that gives me peace in the other uh, areas of my life. That is one. There were other, but uh, this is the most I remember because it's the recent, recent one. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you still want to write. Okay. What about you, Jerpin? You throw the stone and you need to answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he must answer. <laughs> the biggest change in your life, for Jarvin. Oh, the biggest change in my life is when I began a father. Everything ah, changed. Yes, yes. Everything changed in my life because I, I think I was young when I began a father. So uh, my mind changed a lot of I live the the crazy life that I have, <laughs> and I had to be focused in another thing, thinking in another person that was my responsibility is my responsibility. So, this has changed everything for me. Yes, yes, excellent. Yes, Anna Claudia, your time. Yes. To ask. Okay, let me. I'm just looking for. Uh, what this is interesting what are some things that you shouldn't should not say at the funeral wow <laughs> <laughs> I 
I, 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 I have the responsibility to speak in many funerals. Oh, really? Yes, yes. And, uh, and in, uh, it is important to, to know how to, to speak, how to say, what to say. But uh, I remember a friend of mine in a funeral, there was a little boy, a little kid, maybe six months, something like that. A baby? <laughs> yes, a baby, but uh, the kid was uh, the hair, all of the hair, uh, uh, I don't know how to say, pero... <laughs> 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 like... Uh, <electrical>. Parado. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this guy says, wow, this boy... <laughs> Is uh, I don't know how to say this in English. I need to say it in Spanish and then somebody to translate it. Eh, eh, this guy says, A este niño no le ha pasado el susto de haber nacido. <laughs> then, and, and it was so complicated oh. because I, was, I need to speak at the funeral, but. Uh, My God. I was laughing at that. I, I, I hide my, my, my face to, and the, 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 <laughs> because the you were thinking that I, I, I'm crying, in a but I, <laughs> something wow, complicated oh for me. My goodness, <laughs> that's a good experience. Well, <laughs> one day someone told me that one thing that maybe when you are saying condolences to someone else uh, we used to say oh i'm sorry for your loss oh, i know how you feel but if you really don't know how you feel because you haven't passed through the same experience for example this friend of mine he lost his father and in in the uh the year, uh, in the previous year, one year before, I lost my father too. So when I say to him, I know how you feel because I've been through this recently, he told me, yes, to you, I believe you that you tell yes. me yes. that you know how I'm feeling because you went through the same process. But other people come and just say, I know how you feel. I know, sorry for you. They, they don't know. It. And I learned that they, this guy uh, is uh, saying the truth because we have to say words with the meaning, not only because they are uh, phrases. For the heart. You need to speak exactly. for the heart. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. It's common to say, oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, I pray for you in this moment. But pray for you is it's correct because if you are praying for that family, that's okay. Yes, yes. It's a very difficult time. I, I, I lost my mom in the beginning of the pandemic, pandemic oh. time, and mm -hmm. I needed to give the speech in the funeral. It was oh, uh, so, and the so, beginning was so terrible yes. because they didn't want if someone died in the next hour they wanted to get into the cemetery, right? Ah, uh, wow, so complicated. Mm -hmm. And recently. That is my my mother in law uh, oh, about, uh, in April this year. Oh. And it's, uh, it was uh, like a, a mother for me because mm -hmm. I am 43 years with my wife, 43 mm -hmm. years with my my mother in law. It was a, a, a wise woman, a very, very, uh, there is not the typical name of a stepmother. <laughs> really? it's, okay. it's, uh, wow, so great woman is amazing, amazing uh, woman. And, and it was difficult for me, and I need to, to, to give the speech in the funeral to oh my god, some, something, some, something for <laughs> something <laughs> difficult for me. Yes, uh, yes, yes, I don't know, Jarvin. Oh, I don't know. I have to be honest. And that that situation, I think that I don't have the good attitude 
because I don't know how to handle with this situation. And it's difficult to me I if I have to speak at that, at that time. Mm -hmm. I prefer to be quiet and go away of the person or the people that are around, but I don't know. I can handle with that situation. I have to but be you know, that is a great support just to be there, just to give a hug saying nothing, just to be there. You just don't imagine how uh, great support is that because, yeah, uh, I I guess all of us that we've been passing through a difficult moment like that, uh, losing a, a relative, mm -hmm. it, there are some friends that they didn't say and nothing, but they were there, they were just with you in that moment. Okay, I'm just waiting for your other three, four, five classmates to come back. And we're going to start doing this. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's start this. Um, we have to practice, so I'm just gonna throw a question and um, select someone to answer it. Gracia, what's your favorite color? My favorite color, I will think it is purple because you can find it in nature. Am purple. I supposed to? Yes. Am I supposed to speak during a minute or just answer? No, it? no, 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 no. Just oh. answer right now. Oh, okay. but everybody's everybody's cameras are off. Anyways, let's see. Somebody with purple. William Alexander's floor seems to be purple on that picture. Yeah. That's the only purple I found. Okay. William, are you there? And Ana Claudia has something purple on her right hand side, I believe, even though her background is blurry. We can tell there's some purple on her background. Purple. No. My oh, eyes, no. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have nothing. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. We just imagine purple eyes. Just picture it. Oh, my God. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. So, as usual, you have one minute on the on the board. Um, Ana Claudia, the question for you will be, would you prefer to live in an urban area or a rural area? Rural, rural, rural oh, area. Okay. Rural, rural. Uh, being honest with you, One, I two, would three, like two. to. Um, I would like to live in both, but uh, dividing my time in two different seasons. For example, in the rural area. I would like to spend like around four or six weeks in the year. But in the urban area, is it will be must the rest of the year because 
I need to because of my job is in the this area and because of the facilities we have being near to a supermarket to any other place you want to move but there is a time in the year that I look to rest in a forest area and I take like a weekend okay <laughs> good job hey. You the finish is... in the best time in the weekend. <laughs> yeah, dividing. Uh, yeah, another way of saying dividing should have been splitting, 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 splitting my time. Splitting my the time. facilities we have, how, guys, yeah. help me. How else can you say when you have everything around you? Like me, for example, we we live in Boulevard Constitución, so everything is very close. We have mm -hmm. the supermarket, pharmacies, we have the hospitals, we have the kids' school, and well, not our jobs. I mean, my wife's job is in Los Planes, so she travels there every day, and it's it's a long time driving. Okay, how else can you say that? Um, there's another word. Meanwhile, this? atmosphere? <laughs> no, atmosphere, environment, no. Mm. But you're talking about what you do, how easy it is for you to, to yeah, get facilities. those things. For me, I, I consider them facilities. Uh, I was about to say something and I forgot what it was. Oh, God. Okay. Great fluency. You're doing awesome, actually, Anna Claudia. Thank you. Um, I don't find any issues with you talking. I mean, you can communicate very good at this level. That's really good. Just my recommendation is always the same. You know, when you can already speak, try to find ways, uh, different ways of saying things. And the only way to achieve that is listening to yourself. For example, okay. the, the facilities we have, the commodities. Commodities, okay. The commodities we have. Mm -hmm. Okay. God, there was something else that I was about to tell you, and I forgot. Oh, God. Rewind. Okay. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> I forgot. Come on, you're still young. As... I know, <laughs> but I was... The chairman man has nothing to do with you, the Alzheimer. <laughs> the problem is the rest. This day was her. <laughs> I just forgot it. Man, it was interesting. But anyways. I know you will recall it once in a minute. I will recall it. Yeah, good. that's the way. That's the way you have to paraphrase things. I, I know you will remember. I know you will recall later. Good job. Okay. okay. Ana Claudia, who is next? Um, you <laughs> should. You should. No, nah, come you. on. You. <laughs> you have been with your classmates for, for a long time by now. So Let's be... Okay, looking for equity. Equity is that the correct Equi word? Equity. 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 Okay, equity. let's choose a man. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see who is right there. I don't know. William. Okay. William. Uh oh. No, I don't think so. William, are you there? <clears throat> okay, just someone else. Okay, Jarvin. Jarvin? Okay. Okay, it's just a minute. And the question is very simple. Okay, you may laugh about this. I'm just going to write it instead. What's in your fridge? If you have nothing in your fridge, make it up. One, two, three. What's on your fridge? In your fridge. In my fridge? Oh, come on. I didn't open it. I have to be honest. I have a long time to, to don't check it. <laughs> really? Because my wife always is the person in charge to, to check what is missing, what is not. Yes. See? Yeah, fine. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this is why I didn't check. And no, I only I only I say I ask her to know if we need to buy something or not. Keep going. I only I only have to know that if we have soda and water <laughs> in the in the fridge. This is the important thing that I have to have there. <laughs> I don't know how well about my fridge. Okay. Hmm. Good job. So I need your help, guys, if you were paying attention to Jarvin. Thank you, Jarvin. Don't stop talking, guys. That's the key here. Okay. I mean, so we can identify what areas of improvement you have. So who can help me if you took notes, if you paid attention to your classmate? Uh huh. Okay, how else can you say that you haven't checked your? Since a long time, I haven't checked my, I haven't checked it. Hmm, okay. I haven't checked it at all. Is it valid? No. I haven't checked it at all. Mm, that okay. sounds better. Now here, I haven't checked it since a long time, mm, for a long time, oh, okay. for a long time. I haven't checked it for a long time. Gracias again. Uh, hello, yes. I can barely hear you, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't speak before. Oh, I'm sorry. Who who talked? Me. Oh, Ana Claudia. <laughs> Isela. Iliana. <laughs> Isela is my mom. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Iliana, I'm sorry. Okay, what did you say? For a long time. That's for a long time. Yeah. For a long time. Okay. I haven't checked it for a long time. In a long time. Uh, I have. Okay. I have a long time. Don't check it. Okay. So let's correct that. Um. Next, only I ask her to know if we need to buy something or not. Help me. Francisco, you're too quiet. Thank you, sir. Help me with this sentence. Only I ask her to know if we need to buy something or not. This is I basic just, two. I, I just, okay, good. That's the point. The frequency adverb comes before the verb, okay? Or after the auxiliary. It's always uh, accompanying the, the verb. So I only ask her or I just ask her to know uh, when I need to know. When I need to know. No, it, that will be redundant. I'm sorry. Uh, when I need to know, yeah, that will be redundant, but you could do it. I I just ask her, okay, to know if we need to buy something or not. That sounds better. Okay. I only have to know if we have soda. I only have to know. The only thing I know is... Um. No. Um, I only need to know mm. if we have soda. Or maybe the only thing I check is if we the, have soda. Yeah, the only thing I check. Or it's even better, the only thing I care about is if we have soda. The only thing I care about is if we have soda. 
The only thing I care about is having soda on the fridge all the time. That is an addiction. Mm -hmm. It's not good for your health. Who is next, Jarvin? Francisco? Yeah, okay. Yep, yeah, Francisco. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Well, according to the season of the year, right, how the weather is going, what do you like to do on a rainy day? What do you like to do on a rainy day? <laughs> Uh, well, um, uh, for me, I don't uh, like the, the rainy day picture <laughs> because uh, uh, I feel uh, uh, very uh, and close uh, and serrado teacher. Okay. Close. <laughs> but uh, because I don't uh, I don't do it nothing. <laughs> but uh, in 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 this uh, in this case uh, I claim me uh, uh, watch video on YouTube or Instagram. Yes. Just like that, teacher. Relax. <laughs> okay. Good job. Okay. That's the point. Don't stop talking. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. And I request your help again. I don't like me the rainy day. Paraphrase, Francisco. If you want to correct yourself as well, you can do it. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? I don't like the rainy day uh -huh. without me. I don't like rainy days. Rainy days and all the Mondays always get me down. The carpenters. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? Okay, I don't like rainy days. I love rainy days. Especially when you can run under the rain. You know, when you go out um, jogging under the rain, that uh, that's really nice. Okay. Sure, uh, I think depending the the kind of uh, rain. <laughs> oh yeah. It's a, it's of a, course. Uh, uh, how how uh, rain is is in the issue uh, that you have in in the house prefer in the bed. Yeah, if it is just a shower, if it is just a shower, you can go out jogging, right? But if it is pouring, you know, there's a whole lot of water falling from the sky. Yeah, that's not so funny. I got you. Okay, I feel very close. Inclustrated. Um, that's the closest I found on my brain. How else can you say that, guys, when you don't go out of your house and you're in quarantine, basically, you know, like, inclustrated? I remember that word, but is there another way? I feel claustrophobic, maybe? No, but the point is, the yeah, that's the word, encerrado, inclustrated. Not a common word. Inclustrated. 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 I feel inclustrated. Try to find a synonym for encerrado, inclustrated. I feel very inclustrated. Okay. I'm always between walls, you know. That could be an expression. I'm always between walls. In I'm I'm I mean um I'm a home guy, you know, I'm always at home. Okay. 
I don't doing nothing. I was explaining Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia, can you help me correct in this sentence? Anything. And I don't doing nothing. I'm doing anything. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm doing. Okay, I'm doing what? I'm doing nothing. Excellent. When you use nothing, I'm doing nothing. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> now make it negative. Uh, Teacher is negative already. Yeah, but I was trying <laughs> to use. Uh -huh. uh, and yeah, that's good. Continue using ing, but what about I'm not? I'm not doing anything yet. There you go. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm yeah. doing nothing. I'm doing nothing. Now, what he referred to is that I'm usually doing nothing. I'm usually doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. I'm usually not doing anything. I'm usually not doing anything. How can I add frequency to the to the neg negative sentence? Somebody? At this Teacher, time. Uh, maybe uh, I can do an answer. Uh, rewind again. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. No puedo hacer nada. Okay, I can do anything. Yeah. Maybe uh, place usually at the beginning. Usually I'm not doing anything. Usually I'm not doing anything. Excellent. Usually I'm not doing anything. I'm usually not doing anything. I'm not doing anything usually. Really, um, hmm. was it usually or often the one that I can move where I want? Now nah, it's usually. You can play with this guy and move it at the beginning before the before the verb or at the end of the sentence. That's the frequency adverb that you can play with with its position. But in general, all frequency adverbs go before the verb. I can do anything. Okay, and last one. In this case, I like me watching videos on YouTube or Instagram. So when it's raining, okay, I think I got it. When it's raining, where is the apostrophe on this computer? I forgot. Okay, when it's raining. I like to watch. Yeah. I like to watch. I like watching. I like to watch videos on YouTube or Instagram. Instead of studying English, I got you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Practice English instead of videos on YouTube or Instagram. You know what I was telling David yesterday is so difficult nowadays for me to have some time to go on YouTube or TikTok. Get the addiction going. But sometimes I feel it's good. It's good to get relaxed. Okay. Our today's topic, on today's topic, we have review what is sustainability. So really quick, let's see who finds the definition first. Really quick. Go ahead on YouTube. Go ahead on Google. I'm sorry. What is sustainability? Give me your own definition of sustainability. Okay. I found some um, definition. Okay, okay. what's dictate? 
Okay, sustainability consists of fulfilling the needs of current generations without compromising the needs of future generations. Wait. <laughs> consists of fulfilling. Consists of fulfilling the needs of current generations. Current. Mm -hmm. Without compromising. the needs of future future generations while ensuring a balance mm -hmm. between economic growth mm -hmm. environmental care and social well-being <laughs> Hmm. Get an issue with this word environmental. Okay. So there's your definition as per Google. Consists on fulfilling the needs of current generations without compromising the needs of future generations. I'm going to stay with that first part. And I need to hear your thoughts. What do you think? What does that mean? Fulfilling, first of all, fulfilling the needs of current generations. What needs are we fulfilling of this current generation? Is that uh, it is important to take care of the environment for the next generation that they can live in? Uh, uh, wait, wait, but for this current generation, what? needs this are, are we fulfilling generation. right now what yeah. needs are we fulfilling yeah gracias. water water usage as well as food uh crops as well as land uh, usage so that that that's like the what, what we're using and we're fulfilling the hunger of the current generation as well as their need to sanitize and keep hydrated that's a need, okay. Basic needs, food, closing, could be hygiene, health. Okay, so we're fulfilling these needs on this current generation. Hmm. Now there's a need that we, they don't need and we're fulfilling it, right? Technology need. Hmm. I don't know. Sometimes I feel that technology is like, I don't know, it's instead of helping, it's, it's very contradictive. Um, thinking about this current generation, uh, what we are giving them, is it all positive or, or is there something negative? I think in the negative one negative thing that comes to my mind is that because of they were forced to use social media as a toy or because their parents they didn't know how to handle a kid or the easy way to handle a kid was to just giving them a a tablet or a cell phone so they where and they are exposed to a world that they don't know how to face or how to battle, how yeah. to how to struggle, struggle exactly, and and that is how you often uh, find uh, suicide younger because of the cyberbullying or because so it is. There is a, a a a study. I don't remember the name, but I was reading that this generation they didn't develop the twenty percent of the uh, capabilities of their brain because you know the brain is a muscle, right? But because of they are almost uh, doing being in a machine or on a tablet or a cell phone all day long, 
so they don't develop there is like a, they they don't can, get exposed yeah but how can we say that retroceso there's the a oh my god wait what step, step back there's a step back thank okay, you okay there's a step back in the desarrollos develop in their development okay in the development because in the past the issue was that you didn't exercise your brain doing math manually with a pencil etc you were looking always the calculator nowadays you are not also looking the calculator you are looking for everything nobody wants to look for a word in a dictionary they look the google and they use any kind of technology so that's the reason why their brain is lazy. not a cheap huh? it's brain? lazy, uh -huh. it's lazy. Okay. exactly they are not achieving the minimum requirements I, I don't remember the name of that study but they were worried because of this step back. They, they're not exposed they were not exposed to reality Mm -hmm. and, and as we were saying at the beginning of the classes, um, I was telling you that this generation, the Chumbo, was saying that they are not exposed. So basically, they don't know how to deal with society. Deal with, exactly. Deal with society. Okay. Why is this affecting or why will this uh, fulfilling of needs on the current generation will affect the future generation, David? Oh, he stood up. Okay, how how will this affect the future generation if we're not careful? I mean, think about how we are raising our kids. I feel sorry for myself, but you're totally right. As as we are talking, I'm thinking about my kids are watching, not TV because with smart TV, it's you don't need cable anymore. Who needs cable now? If you have a smart TV, you have YouTube, you have all social medias there if you want. Netflix. Netflix, Prime, My Disney. God, so many platforms. So how your dec our decisions on this current generation will affect the future generation? I think teacher, we will have a lack of professional in the oh. future. How come? Well, because in this day, <laughs> the, the current generation uh, don't like study. So they only only want to be a, a influencer. I don't know how to say influencers. They don't want, they just want to be influencers. Good. Uh-huh. Yeah, in the future, it will, it will affect the, the, society, the society. Society. Society, yeah, that's a society because uh, so a, a little percentage of current generation want to to study, but the most of them uh, don't like. Most of them, most of them, they like. Okay, you know I'm trying to get into my teenager's world. He's about to turn fourteen. In August, he's becoming 14 now. So I'm wondering, how can I get into his world, into his brain? He's very quiet. He's very smart. He likes art. He's good at math. He's not the kind of kid that wants to be number one in everything. No. He, he's a great kid, actually, if you think about it, because he's not a troublemaker. You know what is a troublemaker, right? The one that starts the fights and finishes the fights. The one who always is called to 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 the principal, you know, office and, and goes like, yeah, he, he has never had a trouble in his life ever. And when there's trouble, he steps back. He steps away, you know, and, and stays away. Thank God that's the way he is. But I'm trying to understand him because Sometimes I wish he could just talk more, you know, that he's always emerged on this world and he has taken not social media. He doesn't have social medias, but he's always watching videos. 
good videos, let's say, he still believes some things that he sees on 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 YouTube, you know, about I don't know, how they discover gold, how they made something up. I don't know. Uh, so it's difficult. It's difficult to understand this generation. Now, think about the future. If we are giving them all these technological tools, as, as Fernando was saying, um, we will not have professionals. We will have YouTubers. How will these kids or how will the future be affected? That's what I'm trying to say. By this current generation, what about their kids? What? How do you see their kids in their future? If you have kids, your grandkids. If they want to have kids because this generation, they don't want to neither have kids or get married. They prefer to, to have dogs and cats. cats and dogs. Married. Mm-hmm. Married. Married, okay. Yeah, married. This is true. They prefer pets rather than a, a human baby. being a baby <laughs> and and with all the respect i'm sorry i'm not trying to offend anybody but on the other hand we have um the lgbtx oh, wyq right. wanting to have kids mm-hmm. and did you know that in china they came up with this invention now they now a man can have a baby mm-hmm. Yes. In fact, you can have your own baby with your own DNA. Come on. Yeah. They found a way to break the DNA chain and, and make it a woman or a man, if you want, without having a couple. You can just give your own DNA, you know, and they create a person out of yourself. My goodness. It's, it's like cloning yourself, I guess. Yeah. That's really concerning. Yeah. Very concerning. So, okay, so that was the third part. We know how the future will be affected. Now, I'm going to leave the next part for the next uh stage on your on our lesson plan tonight. Um ensuring a balance between economic growth, environmental care, and social well-being. Okay? We will do a case study in a minute. First, I'm going to give you a video that it's on your book actually this is on your um don't, don't open your book don't worry it's on your student's book on page i just want to make the reference page 18 you know the difficult part of this uh classes on or well not for me but for many teachers the difficult part of these levels is that you you no longer have material to work from the books if you were here on basic or intermediate levels, you used to use the, the student's book, remember? There were conversations between two people. I don't know, and that's called uh, role plays, you know, that, that the teacher school use. But at this point, it's just about watching videos, reading articles. But the main thing is for you to talk, and that's it. So we're going to watch a video, and practicing uh, listening is very important, getting new vocabulary. We're going to listen to Paul Polman, remember, from Unilever. So he's going to talk to us about a sustainable business model. Um, again, our class today is understanding what is sustainability, in other words, in your own words. But also, um, there are three pillars of sustainability that we need to study. So let's watch this video. We're going to stay here. We're not going anywhere. It's just six minutes. Please try to get new vocabulary, understand what the video talks about. I'm going to be watching it too, okay? So it's on your WhatsApp. I'm going to send it here too. There you go. We come back at 9.22, 9.25.
Okay. Hmm. Let me know when are you ready. I found three kind of words. Or phrases that I took from the video that I was not aware of. That was the whole goal as well. Bystander, firm pledges, and that's Fito. That's Fito. Fito Pies? I think Fito is something from the plant. <laughs> yes. I think. It's Greek. It's Greek for plant. Yes. But in the context he's using it, it's, let's find a synonym for that. That's important. That's crucial. That's what really matters. Okay. So what did you find? Go to the chat. Type the word or words that you found interesting on this speech or that you didn't know. I still didn't know, but I will type and then I will look for that. Remember, every time we watch a video or we read something, if you find a new word that you go like, what, what, what's this? Okay, very important. The couple growth. I understood it in the moment, but not anymore. Transformational change, okay. Scarcity. I'm reading that a little bit more. The couple. What's the couple in your own words? Oh, I <laughs> like uh, separating in the context, it will be separating economic growth from sustainability. Excellent. Separating two things. Decouple, decode, diminish. Mm. Scarcity, the lack of something, right? Scarce, lack. Lack of something. Okay, now what are your general thoughts about this video? Yeah, I've I, I seen in the Netherlands there are changing many things that are working with the, in general, with the a curriculum of universities thinking in advance from 10 years. And uh, there are a, a friend of mine that, that live in Holland that, uh, that he is uh, doing a new kind of business and he goes around the world talking about that, uh, how to transform the enterprise of the companies into communities. And in this time, this guy that is talking about uh, the a new business model, new business model that is uh, focused on the environmental and on the giving the opportunity to people. Uh, I I saw a, a a kind of fruit that I don't know what it is, but big fruit and. Like uh, anonas, I don't know, cincuyas, but the big, they are uh, in, a, in a truck. Yeah, yeah. they're, um, how do you call this thing? I love the taste. Guanabanas? Yes, something like that, but bigger, mm -hmm. bigger, so, so, so bigger. bigger. Yes, uh, that, that I download it from a truck. <laughs> I don't know, because it, oh. uh, it, uh, uh, I know it's something like an Asian country uh, uh, for oh. the people that was talking about. Yeah, and, there uh, are some fruits that we will never get to meet. Yes, yes, we never and the, the drag, like the dragon fruit, for example. Oh, have you heard about yes. it? Yeah, that's a natural remedy. Okay, guys, for our next, um, what, what is it for our next show or next number? <laughs> Uh, we have to move on with this topic, the three pillars of sustainable development. Um, so 
I'm going to split you one more time and I'm just going to send each one of the topics and tell you which one is yours. So you can just read about it really quick. Um, this time I'm just going to go like this group one. It's going to read about social pillar, the social pillar. Um, group number two is going to read about economic pillar. Now, you don't need to make a presentation. Just read it, discuss with your classmates, and come back to the whole class. I'm sorry, that was group number two. I'm going to erase it and send it again. Mm -hmm. Okay, here, group two. Group two, we'll talk about economic pillar. And the last one is environmental pillar. This is a very brief text that I found. This is group three. Okay, what does it have to do with this environmental pillar? Um, so, and I'm going to send you the link where I found this information. So if you want to visit the link and get a little bit more of details, what are the three pillars of sustainable development? Now, just read it with your classmates. Come back to the class with general ideas of what is it about. What are the three pillars? I'll, I also send, I'm also sending you this image uh, that I found very interesting. It's like a general idea of what it is. And there you go. With that, you can start discussing with your classmates what is your part how are you going to explain it really quick? We only have 15 minutes for this activity and then a few minutes to explain it. Sounds like a plan? Okay. Yes, teacher. Let's, yes, get, teacher. let's get it done. I'm moving you, David. Yes, I am in two or three. Okay, thank you. Wendy, please join your group. Okay, I get. Okay, I wanna put in the in the Zoom chat. Social pillar. Social pillar. Okay. Can you see it in the Zoom chat? Sorry. You want to read, Francisco? Sure. Okay. Uh, social pillar. The social pillar of a company's sustainable development refers to values that promote equality and respect for individual rights. The social consequence of the company's social activity are then assessed in accordance to these issues, such as gender equality. The principles upon which this pillar is founded are as follows. Combat social exclusion and discrimination, helping with reintegration, supporting gender equality, reducing the gender pay gap, promoting training, encouraging dialogue, and applying global social rights. In other words, the goal is to seek to ally the global population, promote solidarity, helping to reduce social inequalities by collaborating with local and international associations and projects, and prioritizing fight fire 
freight products which guarantee an appropriate income for farmers and help to promote sustainable agriculture, contribute to the well-being, the well-being, and the well-being of stakeholders, developing social dialogue, and covering the exchange of information and transparency at that. Okay, so. Many information. <laughs> <laughs> it's many information. So, what? <laughs> okay. so what, what do you think? Francisco or Luis Albert Steve? I, I, I was. I, I was hearing but um I was I was seeing the image on WhatsApp about okay, or, the image wait the social image. social diversity human right equal social. opportunity out Altruist programs, programs. This is like um a presume the, the the main the main ideas, right? Social pillar I under in conclusion, I understand the that we got <clears throat> the on uh, equality, human rights, and okay. human rights, equality, and what else? I think that when you have, when you are a huge company, you are obligated to to take care of the 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 well-being of the society, well-being, <laughs> I don't remember, well-being, teacher, well-being, well. Well-being, well-being. Well-being, okay, well-being, yeah. And you. Okay, it is, uh, okay, um, care about the process, or using the machine, or maybe if you want to buy something or to do something, but caring about the environment. That's a main idea, right? Yeah, like what Paul Pullman said, like uh, making sure that from the beginning of your uh, producing chain, a uh, whoever produces your raw materials uh, also produces them in a sustainable way. He mentioned mm -hmm. that he they 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 work with their um farmers in order to mm -hmm. get uh sustainable products all along the chain of production. Okay. Yeah. And the certification from ISO that you also mentioned, uh, well, that will also include an investment from the company. Uh, because at least on Europe, they have a, a ecological label, which is given to certain enterprises who are, who produce their, 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 their products in a sustainable way, but they have to like get certificates and it's, a bunch of things that they have to do in order to get it and um, that label gives them like a status above some other products which are on the market okay yeah i think all the companies uh, must have to to work in that way you know? yeah because the planet is our home right yeah we, we, have, we have to other... care about it yeah <laughs> Have you seen the t-shirts that say we do not have a plan B or plan B?
It also has to do with recycling of product because um, there's actually one of the sustainability um, ob Los objetivos de desarrollo sostenible, we need to, to know about that. But... The main thing is commitment to protect the environment by reducing risk and measuring the environmental impacts of companies' activities, saving and preserving natural energy or natural resource, assessing the carbon footprint, this term I didn't know carbon footprint. And reducing greenhouse, greenhouse, greenhouse gas emissions and fuel activities sustainable. Prevent world scarcity. Oh. Scarcity. What is scarcity? And reduce sober waste for new future generation. I think the, um, the, the this social pillar is um, every company is necessary to to have, uh, because the all employees or every every person who work for any company, uh, they they have to give an. Uh, they had to be an example for everybody who works in this company and out of this this, this company, and in order to give a values, a respect, a respect, a, a quality human a human rights. I don't know what, what, what else, but the idea is, or, or the main idea is, is to respect our values and equality, I think. And what do you think? Do you think the the factories or the company here in El Salvador has these philosophies as to, who can I say, maybe follow this philosophy for, for implement in the companies? Yes, yes. Uh, I think uh, there are many companies, um, for example, in, 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 in the place that, that I work, uh, they try to to give the idea uh, about values, uh, respect every everybody. Uh, although we we have a difference, um, but it's necessary to respect to respect the ideas, to respect the preference, maybe uh, because if if there are no rules. In a company, maybe everybody wants to to do whatever they want. It's necessary, uh, a kind of philosophy, yes, mm -hmm. to to have values and to show them. I think. Mm -hmm. I think in the, in this moment uh, is, uh, maybe. Uh, um obligation that the, the company uh, uh, promote this this idea if the company uh, uh, they maintenance uh, they want to to maintain in the in the time in the long in the long time 
<laughs> yeah, like you say, it's an expired the image that, yes. that yeah, have a, a plan for, mm -hmm. for social responsibility. Yeah. So because in this case, it's a very, very um, difficult topic or credits because uh, you know, it's take care of not only human beings, uh, even the planet is affected for, for us. So we need to take uh, different measures. And companies are the, are maybe the principles, the principles of, I don't know how to say it, uh, the principles of, I don't know how to say, but maybe more of the, the change. Which word? Sorry? Will you repeat it with this word, please? Do you have the chance? Did you say the change or the chance? The change. The change, they promote the change, but I don't know how to say they are the principal responsible. The main, the main responsible. Oh, the main, the main, the main responsible for that because um, they have resources and, but it's, it's a task for, for all the people. What company has uh, resources? Because I can do my part, but it's little, or a little, compared with the with a company uh, can do it. Can do. Without it, can do. Yes. Okay, tonight, um, well, let me wait for him. He's not here yet. Oh, there, there you are. William, would you mind staying 10 minutes tonight, please? No, thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so group number one, Fernando, Francisco, Jarvin, Luis, and Wendy, let us know about your topic. Our topic it's social pillar teacher. Uh, we were discussing in the group about this topic and we have a different opinion, but we are agreeing with, uh, with the company has a great responsibility with the society because they have uh, the opportunity to help them and they have resources for, for doing it do it because uh, we can we can do our part but it's a little part compared with uh, with the huge company can do but it's passed for, for for all the people what but, are examples of the social pillar for the social, whole group uh -huh. Fernando? Uh, yeah for me 
for me? Yeah, for you. Okay, social pillar. Social pillar is reducing, one example is reducing the gender pay gap. Reducing the? Oh, yeah, re reducing the, the gender, I remember the gender, the gender pay gap. The gap um, for gender exclusion. For gender exclusion, uh, like I remember that. Um, and no, no, it's part of combat social exclusion and discrimination. Mm -hmm. So a clear example, if you had uh, one of these guys on Secot in El Salvador coming out of jail, you know, there's he has a certificate that he had a good behavior in jail. Would you hire him? Who else was in the group? Yeah. Francisco, Jarvis, Luis, Wendy. Because that's part of social, the social pillar, right? Not to discriminate. It's difficult teacher to hire yes. because he has a, I don't know, a history of a uh, a story of a story uh -huh. of bad, bad behavior. Okay. So it's a, it's a should, uh, no. maybe for example in, in a, a a concrete uh, example uh, the uh, social period in the company when uh, when the company uh, need a uh, cover a position and uh, the idea is uh, uh, the men and women uh, has the same the same opportunity for cover this to cover this to cover uh, 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 this position okay yeah great example yeah this just do we take a man or a woman you know it's okay either one great job okay thank you guys let's go with group number two economic pillar the economic pillar and that was started by gracia jose wilfredo and william alexander uh, so regarding the economic pillar uh, we found out that it's like back in the day it was like the principal sustainability um pillar like if you, or or development um uh, way of the way you will uh, measure your development but nowadays it's like one of the three pil uh, fundamental pillars and it has to do with how uh, your business will go on uh, getting revenue but in an environmental and social uh, friendly way like for example um, in the case of um, massive production if you're going to purchase a new machine then you will uh, like to uh, ver uh, ver verify if the machine that you're purchasing is um, is efficient so that you can reduce your carbon footprint and as well as implementing uh, as Paul Pullman said, uh, ways of reducing your carbon footprint or reducing your waste uh, from the beginning, from the materials, the, the raw materials up to your, uh, all in the chain of production production chain uh, until the consumer gets their product. I don't know if William would like to add something. The economic uh, pillar, as you said, uh, it is the... Um the most encourage and promote the protection of the environment by limiting the risk uh, possible their production. And so in this, the main goal in this case is uh, the environmental friendly. And you can do this like uh, recycling and doing the political in your, 
in your company or or your business to to be friendly with the, the environment Ad and adapting the... adapting this policy uh, adapting this policy i'm sorry adapting this policy mm -hmm. okay and for example the the revenue energy what is the reducing energy consumption and yeah in this case when you are using the okay you have to be careful about the the use of the energy on in your process and your company for example yeah that's it okay hmm. now social programs do they get benefit i mean do they get income or profit i'm sorry from from their activities yeah they do right they do maybe not as big as huge companies uh, unilever's example i will think is like now that we have the money let's become more environmental friendly because they have a long story right so finally someone thought about the environment and that was in 2020 i think the video was from 2020 no i heard he said by 2020 or something like that anyways okay let's go with environmental pillar it's the last one for tonight mm, okay the environmental pillar uh, basically consists in uh consists in protect the environment by reducing risks and it's just not enough that we are protecting the environment we have to like companies have to think about to how are they going to measure that impact and when they have that measures they will know if the uh, if their if their activities are good for for the environment and basically that and i think that they be and Anna claudia could have a could have give a could give sorry some examples of environmental pillar like uh, we've been talking and discovering that uh, one of it is to preserve the uh, environment uh, saving and preserve natural energy or agricultural resources and also uh assessing the carbon footprint we were talking about the carbon footprint and reducing uh, the greenhouse gas emissions that will be what as what we know as effect invernadero i don't know how to well that is what we found that greenhouse gas emissions. greenhouse yeah that's uh, that's that's the meaning for it. that's the meaning of effect invernadero right? yeah ah, okay and also prevent the water scarcity and reduce overall waste for current and future generations. The waste we need to uh, avoid waste of water or any natural resource. Greenhouse gas emissions. Mm -hmm. Emissiones de gas efecto invernadero, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, water scarcity. Uh, did you know that, well, Latin America holds like a lot of water from the world. I mean, the whole American nation, um, and I'm sorry, David, if I stopped you, but that has copyrights. <laughs> Don't worry, <laughs> it's okay. So uh, yeah, we, we are in lack of pure water and eventually it's gonna, it's not gonna last forever. That's what I'm trying to say. So uh, whoever comes up with an idea of transforming salty water into pure water it's going to become rich i think there's a method to do it but man it's so difficult right to take the salt out of the water william osmosis inverse i don't know how to say that in english and there is osmosis i'm not getting what you're saying guys <laughs> the process he's speaking about it's uh -huh. called inverse osmosis which is taking out the salt Os from osmosis yeah. yeah oh that's a movie 
from the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, you remember, <laughs> right, David? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know that was osmosis. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'll, I'll Google it later. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm staying with William tonight for 10 minutes. Hope you have some rest and see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher and good night. Bye-bye. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Okay. Gracias, Elizabeth Díaz Vázquez. Good night. Good night. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. He was here. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present. Good night. Good night. Juan Miguel Bram Mejia. Luis Albert Steve Bonilla Canales. Good night, teacher. Good night. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. Okay. William Good, night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Thank you. Okay, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Present. Yep, I got you, William. Yeah, I did update it. Okay. Mr. Ramirez. How are things going? Where are you working? Everything is fine. I'm working with my cousin and it is an, an industrial workshop. Tayer, yeah. Industrial workshop. Wow. Really? It is what? about uh, industrial maintenance. For what? Cars? Or, or no, if it is industrial, yeah. What is it? Airplanes? What kind of industry? Your internet is unstable. Yeah, <laughs> I had to. <laughs> Can you hear okay. me now? Yeah, that's better. Okay. So you're a mechanic. No, uh, um, I am working in administration. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you like yeah. it? Yeah, I really like it. That's yeah, good. for example, I have to do the, the payroll. <laughs> uh, yeah, because tomorrow is payday, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. True. The 15th. So how long have you been on these courses? from the beginning since basic one yeah wow were you what what models were you with me before i don't remember did you buy i guess since the beginning intermediate i think you were intermediate and you remember anybody from that class with Michelle, I think you were with Michelle, right? On on online classes. Mm, Michelle and what was the name of this woman? There was a woman with a sister, you know, they were sisters always connecting. Julia, I think. Ah, Julia, yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. They were sisters. And so many people. Yeah. So many students. It's been great. You're about to graduate, so almost done. How do you feel with your English? I feel great, but I, I think it is um I have to to improve. Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to speak more. My own opinion. Uh... Yeah, but uh, I mean, well, I think you're capable of sustaining a natural conversation at this point but 
the problem on this level is is to start talking about any anything. I mean, because if if the where you will get in trouble is if you conduct a conversation and suddenly the topic changes. Uh yeah. Into something difficult, right? So I don't know. But could be difficult for you at this point. Uh, talking about administration, what is the most difficult task for you in your job? Quoting, um, yeah, because I have to do a lot of quoting all all days. Really, um, like quoting prices? Yeah. Or costs? Uh, both of them, prices and costs. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I have to I have to prepare the the quote and send to the client. And are well, so are you an administration or are you the accountant? No, because it is um it is about um uh, okay. For example, when you go to the workshop and you ha you want to to have a a quote um about uh, what it is the price of your your maintenance of your car, for example. Mm -hmm. That is a kind of job. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. I understand. Okay. Hmm. Where do you... Yeah, yeah, but I'm wondering the logistic of getting the right quote. Uh, for example, if it is just changing, I don't know, uh, this, the, the, the shock absorbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's just that I remember my my father in law called them uh, los chocaxoles. Uh -huh. It's shock absorbers, chocaxoles. Uh -huh. Okay, it's Spanish. I'm like, okay, that I know now where it comes from, chocaxoles. Okay, shock absorbers. So if it is just changing the shock absorbers, I guess you know how other workshops charge. How much they charge so you have an idea or what yeah you have you or you have to to look for for the or, the prices or the yeah because in general it's like okay the shock absorbers are those new okay we're installing new shock absorbers and we are buying them for for yeah. for the client so that you add like 10 or 20 percent to the real price of the shock absorbers and then you consider a percentage on top of that for the hand job yeah yeah because we have to, you have to to do to be competitive yeah mm -hmm. not too much be careful uh, yeah i guess that's <laughs> i think that's the difficult part of having an owning a business you know is competing with the prices of others that's hard yeah i was listening that you know it's, it's like me for example i prefer doing things myself but when it comes to things where I need an expert, like electrical things, you know, electrical mm -hmm. connection, the wiring of things, um, I prefer to call someone. Now, there's where I find trouble, finding someone who knows with the experience and not so high prices. Yeah. That's, and so many things to consider. But anyways, so quoting is difficult. How many quotes do you do it per day? Uh, at least uh, 10, kind of. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Where is the workshop? I mean, what uh, municipality is the uh, workshop Santa, on? It is in Santa Tecla. Santa Tecla. Yeah. So you have good marketing. Yeah. You have good marketing because that, that's a good number. for In a daily basis, that's a good number. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's good to know. Good to have you on the class. Please try to practice a little bit more, you know, participate a little bit more so I can tell you if yes or no, you're talking. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'll see you tomorrow, man. Have some rest. Good night. Good night.